features. Even when they're magnified, it's hard to see their features. They're tiny infinitesimal, so small that makes you doubt. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. The cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Tom Thomas, aren't you done yet? Yeah, show us your surprise and quit drawing. But this is the surprise. So make yourselves comfortable. Quiet on the set and action. <laughs> You should put a huge bump on his head. It's just like a cartoon that you drew him there. <laughs> he did draw us a real cartoon there. Oh, right. Real cartoons, they only show them on television. But they make them exactly the same way. <laughs> Animation is made with many, many pictures called frames. Each one of the frames is a little bit different from the one that comes right before it. For example, a character can lift his arm up a little bit at a time. And then, if you watch the frames very quickly, one right after the other, it looks like the character is really moving. And that's how cartoons are made. And you know what? To make one minute of a cartoon, you might have to draw more than a thousand frames. Oh, wow. I'm not patient enough for that. It's no big deal that your cartoon's short. Especially since it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. Tom Thomas, who's this kooky guy you drew here? You're just joking, Nolik. You don't recognize yourself? So this is supposed to be me on here? Did you already forget what happened to you this morning? Simka, you're it. You can't catch me. <sighs> I'm too fast for you. <laughs> you weren't too fast for the pole. Ah, uh, Suka, you didn't have to tell him about that. Real sisters don't treat their brothers like that. Oof. And your cartoon's not funny at all. No, Lick, don't go. It's okay, he just needs to sulk for a while. While he's gone, there's something I want to show you. Do you have a cartoon you can put on the TV? I have plenty. What should I do? Let's watch it again. But now I want to show you the same cartoon a frame at a time. Here, take a look. This is a frame, and here's another and another. Isn't that cool? Uh-huh. So cool. And then back at regular speed, there's 25 frames every second. What should I do? It's magical. Simply, you know, I feel awful for Nolik. Yeah, I feel awful too. There are many different ways of making animation. Hand-drawn animation is, of course, drawn by hand. And stop motion is made like this. The animators pose the model and take a picture of it. Then they move the model a little bit and take another picture. And they do it again and again and again until there are enough frames to make the characters look like they're moving very smoothly across the screen. Another popular style of animation is clay animation. In these films, everything is built and rebuilt out of modeling clay. But today, most of the cartoons are made on a computer. At first, they make a computer model of a character, a sort of digital puppet. After the models are built, they are colored and animated to move. This is the kind of animation that's used in the Fixie cartoons. Tom Thomas, what are you doing? Are you drawing a new cartoon? Nah, I started fixing the old one, so Nolik will stop being angry. Good, keep drawing, and I'll go and get him. No, Lick! I'm not here! No, Lick, forgive me. Please don't be so mad. There's a cartoon to watch. I've already seen your stupid cartoon. So what'd you do now? Put a huge bump on my head? Not a chance. 
I did it all over again. I'm sure you'll love it. You sure of that? All right, go ahead. Show me your cartoon. Quiet on the set and action. There you go. Now that cartoon I really liked. Good, because I'm all out of paper. Well, I think the first cartoon was funnier. <laughs> Whoa. But this one's much better, of course. Yeah. Mm -mm. Fixies have a special sign I happen to discover. They have three fingers in the air and flash it to each other. They send their greetings to you. They sing them and they shout. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. The alarm. Hey there! I'm back! Yoo-hoo! Wait! My chocolate bunny! It was standing right here! What's this, a dog? Not that one, another one! I had two bunnies. I just got them as a present. You had two bunnies? Are you sure of that? Of course! You think I don't know my ones from my twos? Huh. Then someone stole one. Unless, uh, unless... <gasps> you went and ate it yourself! Me? How come I don't remember anything about it? Maybe you're a sleepwalker. What is a sleepwalker? Someone who gets up from his bed at night without waking up. He crosses the room, eats one of his chocolate bunnies, and doesn't remember a thing in the morning. But in the morning, the bunny was still there. Yeah? Huh. How about... Your mother? Could she have taken it? She doesn't like when you're eating too much candy. No, she doesn't. She says that candy's terrible for my teeth. And so, to save your teeth from these sweets, she snuck quietly into your room, snatched one of the rabbits, and ate it. But Mom's the one who gave them to me as a present. And so why would she take it? Yeah? Then I just don't know. Well, I do. I think it was your father. He wouldn't steal it. We know he's allergic to chocolate. <laughs> Next he'll tell us how the fish took it. You know, I always thought there was something fishy about those fish. No doubt about it. They stole the bunny. <laughs> Uh-huh, and then they hid it in their aquarium. <laughs> oh, no, like, that's funny. You know what, Tom Thomas? You need to protect that other chocolate hair. Exactly. It has to be eaten right away, now, before it disappears. Just wait a little. You don't have to eat it. Let's think of something else. Of course, we need a security alarm. Need what? <sighs> The alarm was invented to keep houses, cars, and other valuable things safe and secure. The simplest alarm is a siren or light bulb that is connected by wires to a door or window. When someone tries to open a door that has an alarm on it, the alarm goes off, making the siren howl and the light flash. Alarms can also be set up to call the police if they go off. Super! But where can we get ourselves a security alarm? You have an electronic construction kit, remember? You're right. Then bring it over here. Nolik, help me! is the Fixie's victory call. When a job is well done and we Fixies are proud of our work, we exclaim, Tadish! And raise up our hand with our thumb and first two fingers sticking out. You want to know what it means? It's very simple. Fixies love solving problems and fixing things that are broken. And do you know what you need to do to solve a problem? 
First, you need to find out what's broken. Second, understand why it broke. And third, repair what's broken so it works again. So do what the fixies do and first, find it. Second, understand it. And third, fix it. Tadish! <laughs> it really is a great word. And it sounds funny. But we fixies surely like it a lot. Well, Tom Thomas, turn on the alarm. You sure the alarm will work? I'm sure, without a doubt. You're under arrest. Freeze! Chusaka? Why are you stealing my chocolate? Can you believe that pixies are such itty bitty creatures? Even when they're magnified, it's hard to see their features. inside the oven. So be careful around ovens. A hot oven can burn you very badly. Oh, it really is getting so hot. We gotta get out of this oven right away. Simka, we're about to get roasted in here. Yeah, inside of a fresh baked fixie cake. I don't want to. You think I Too. 
Tom Thomas, the cake's fresh out of the oven. You want to try some? <gasps> Where could they be, huh? I don't know. Maybe they're inside the cake. They could have turned into screws. We got to find them. Hey, what are you doing? Eat. Stop playing. Hey, watch out. You could break your teeth. The first ovens in ancient homes were nothing more than simple fire pits where people cooked on hot coals. Later on, the stove was invented. Every house had a stove made out of stone, clay, or cast iron. People would burn wood or coal in them. These stoves produced enough heat to make soup or bake a cake. And then in the 19th century, the gas stove was invented. Gas stoves are much more practical than wood-burning stoves. One second and the gas is burning. A few more minutes and the water's boiling. They're very convenient, but they can also be dangerous because if the pipes aren't in good condition, there can be an explosion. Today, there are also stoves and ovens that run with electricity. They use electric heating elements for frying, boiling, or baking foods without fire at all. Tom Thomas, I think you'll explode. Oh, but it's so incredibly good. I just can't stop eating it. Hmm. Keep chewing, Tom Thomas. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's as much as I can chew. Hey, what are you guys up to? Hey. Uh, up to? We're trying to save you. You're not in the cake? Then how come I was eating all of this? I hate cake. Hmm, uh, maybe it's because that's what good friends do. Yeah, he's a good friend who's got a really good appetite. <laughs> <laughs> Toasters, MP3s and TV screens, even roller coasters. Without them, clock stop ticking. Without them, lights go out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. The elevator. is going to see the circus. Uh, and what? We want to go with them, can we? The answer is no. Just you kids without supervision. Who said no supervision? His parents are taking him there. Well, be careful. Don't worry. They won't even notice us. Hmm. Well, if Tom Thomas's parents will be there... Hooray! We can go! Wait a second. I didn't even say yes yet. Yeah. Simkanolik, where are you? We gotta hurry up. Tom Thomas, it's time to go. I'll be right there. We're ready. Climb into my hood. Ha! Huh, I know who's going to the circus today. Whoa! Huh? What just happened? I think that the elevator broke down. Don't you worry. Mm -hmm. Emergency operator. <clears throat> um, uh, we got stuck in the elevator. Understood. Please wait. We'll have the elevator fixed within the hour. That long? That means we won't get to the circus on time. Tom Thomas, we'll go get Papus and Masia. I'm sure they can fix it. People need elevators to help them get to the upper floors of tall buildings. When someone steps into an elevator and presses a button, the elevator's electrical engine starts up. It pulls the cable that is attached to the elevator cabin, and the elevator goes to the desired floor. The cable hangs over a wheel, and it usually has a heavy counterbalancing weight attached to the other end of it. This counterweight balances the elevator and helps the electric motor do its job. Hmm, I wonder what the reason is. I think I see something over there that got stuck. Looks like you found the reason. We gotta go and fix it now or we'll never get to the circus on time. You know, we can just have it right here. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the Fixie Spectacular. And now your attention, please, on the high wire. Close my eyes and I won't look anywhere at all. Ow! 
our very own aerial gymnasts. Our next act, feats of strength. It won't come out. I know how to fix it. With a death-defying circus act. Point your eyes up. Marcia, where are you going? Up to the electric motor. Do you know the right way to behave yourself inside of an elevator? First of all, Small children should never get into an elevator by themselves. They should only go in with their parents or other adults they know well. When getting onto an elevator, the adult should always enter first and then the child. When it's time to get out, it's the other way around. First the child leaves and then the adult. If you are taking a dog onto an elevator, make sure its tail and leash are completely inside so they don't get stuck in the door. And there's one more thing. If the elevator suddenly stops for some unknown reason, don't try to break out of it yourself. Press the button that calls the emergency operator and wait for help from the elevator repairmen. Or the fixies. I reached the motor! Turn it on! Oh, they fixed it. That was quick. Now we'll make it on time. There was no need to worry. Stop! Ugh. It's way too high. Tom Thomas went to the circus without us. There's no need to get that upset, Nolik. Our circus is as good as theirs. Right, Papus? Of course it is. Thank you. Thank you? Uh, to who? What do you mean, who? The elevator repairman. Please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their 